If you want to show changes over time, you do have the option of doing the basic line chart, which I showed elsewhere. But Google Sheets also gives you a specialized timeline, which is designed for things that have months or years on the bottom and a change in a quantity, often financial, over time. I'm going to use the same data here and I'm going to show you how to make this specialized timeline. I'll start with just the first two columns, month and donations. And when I click on the insert chart, it's going to give us the default timeline, which we've had before. But I'm going to come here to chart type and I'm going to click that and go way down to the bottom where we have the timeline chart. And when I click on that, it's a different kind of thing. It actually gives you some interactive functionality. Now I'm going to do a couple of things first just to clean it up and come here to customize. And I'm going to change the line thickness from one to four. So the lines thicker, and I'm going to give it fill opacity, just 10%, which fills in the area beneath it. And it makes it a little easier to see what's going on. There's one other important thing. You'll see that these values here go from 5,000 to 10,000 to 15,000, but they don't start at zero. And in my mind, they should always start at zero. So I'm going to click on this box, expand range to show zero. And now we're set. That's as many options as I have for this. But what I want to show you is that when you come over it, you see, as I go over a particular value, it will highlight that value and give us the date and the amount. You can control it two different ways. Number one is you can come down here and you can drag this box to set your own time range. That's, you know, that's the whole point of having the timeline. Or you can use these zoom buttons. You can say, go back to the max, show me the last year, show me the last six months. If you've ever worked with financial data on the web, you often have these same options. Now, this is a simple timeline with just one variable being displayed. We can do more than that. In fact, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to copy this chart. And then let me drag that new copied chart down. Not overlapping. And what I'm going to do in this chart is I'm going to change the data that it uses. And I'm going to give it all of the data. I'm going to come back up here. I just click in here and do the shift control or command and space bar that selects the data. And now I've got all of it there. And there's really nothing else I need to do because it maintains all the same options that I already set. But you know, we can still do the interactive thing. We can click right here. We can come back a little bit. And as I come in, you see how it says donations, events, grants, and total up here at the top. As I come into the chart, It'll give us the actual values of each of those as we scroll through. And so that is a great way to explore the data and to see what's happening there as well. And so the timeline chart, while it has fewer options overall, gives you some very specific functions that are hard to assemble on your own, but give you the ability to explore your data in more detail.